let us now talk about the surface element in spherical polar coordinate. So, we have got the line element dl as dr r cap r d theta, theta cap plus r sin theta d phi phi cap. This will uh, this we will require in, an, uh, in to understand the surface element in spherical polar coordinate. So, so, objects having spherical symmetry can be well explained by spherical polar coordinates, you know it. So, let us take a surface, this is sphere, okay, sphere is sphere with radius let us say r. Now, if you want to calculate surface element, let us say this surface element is T. How can you calculate the surface element? Look, we will write D A. We have to see which quantity is fixed over this surface. If you consider, like if you go to this this point, or the surface is lying here, or it is lying here, or it is lying here, at each and every infinitesimal surface, what is fixed? R is fixed because R is the radius of the sphere. You can consider a football. So R is same everywhere. Now, whatever quantity remains fixed, that will be the direction of the surface area. So, here the direction of the surface area will be r cap, okay, radially outward. Now, remember one thing, whatever quantity is not changing, that will be 0. r is not changing, the variable r is not changing. So, dr will be 0. So, this term will not be there only this term and this term may get multiplied r d theta into r sin theta d phi. Now, what is r? r at the surface is capital R. So, this one is not contributing this r d theta is contributing. So, r d theta multiplied by r sin theta d phi. Okay. Then it gives you the idea. The direction is r cap. So, that is why you get r square sin theta d theta d phi r cap. So, this is the area element for this sphere. So, if you want to calculate the total surface area, we have to take the limit of r. Limit is very important. Here, r is equals to r, okay? Because for all the for the whole surface, value of r is r. What about theta? Theta is varying as usual 0 to pi, phi is varying as usual 0 to 2 pi. But here, R has a fixed value capital R. So, I hope this one you understood. Now, this one everybody knows. Let us talk about another surface. I am giving you a semi spherical surface like this. What about this? It has again this radius R. What about this surface? Whether you consider the surface here, 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 then you here on the curved face. What is constant? Again, r is constant, radius is constant. So, again, the area element here will be dA is equals to r square sin theta d theta d phi r cap. But there is a small difference here. If you want to calculate the total area, we had to consider this for this surface. But if you go, if you proceed with this surface, your small r is remaining capital R as usual, but your theta and phi, what will be these values? Theta will now be varying between 0 to pi by 2, because this is a hemisphere. But phi does not change, phi remains 0 to 2 pi because we have to cover the whole thing, but theta is half. So, instead of 0 to pi, theta will be 0 to pi by 2 for this hemispherical surface. Let us now consider another surface to make your understanding very well. Here you can see the direction is r cap. Now, for this surface, flat surface, what about the direction? What about this direction? Theta cap. What about the direction of this surface? What is fixed here? You have to find out what is remaining fixed. So, for this surface, what is fixed? Theta is fixed. Theta is pi by 2. For this surface, your theta value is pi by 2. Theta is fixed, so direction will be 
theta cap and look at this if theta is fixed this term will be 0 only this term and this term will be contributing you see for this r is also not fixed r is a variable not capital r because you can take this here surface element here you can surface you take, take the surface element here and here here then your small r is changing so what you can write for the area element for this area element we can write d is equals to dr dr is dr no issue in that r theta is not contributing 0 r sin theta define r sin theta theta value is pi by 2 so we we'll have to put the value pi by 2 and d phi will remain d phi and the direction is theta cap so ultimately you are getting r dr sin pi by 2 is 1 so the area element r dr d phi theta cap in this way very easily you can specify the direction of a particular surface i hope you understood this awesome concept very well and another thing i would like to tell you about the although you know it it also valids uh, for the cartesian coordinates as well r theta phi if you take the cross product between r cap and theta cap you get phi cap okay now if you take the cross product between theta cap and phi cap you get r cap so if you go in a cyclic manner you get the result in a cyclic manner okay so cyclic rotation you get the result in this way so i hope you find this video useful if you are new to this channel please subscribe the channel like the video and don't forget to press the bell icon finally thanks for watching an academy is india's largest online teaching learning platform you can prepare for various competitive exams like csr net get jest iit jam tfr especially if you are preparing for csr net physical science you can join me on an academy plus i cover all the nine units of csr net physical science syllabus my approach is especially i precisely give you the concept of the concern topic then i discuss the relevant mathematical formula and do the analysis relevant problem based on the topic including previous year questions are discussed homework and assignments are also given this is my profile and if you want to join my anacademy plus process you can enroll for this course and if you are new to this anacademy uh, platform you can take an anacademy plus subscription using our referral code felix R, and anacademy will give you 10 percent off so take the anacademy plus subscription today and put your feet one step ahead towards reaching your goal thank you